In this Hello World demonstration of Visual Prolog, I will explain basic features of the IDE while creating a Hello World program. First, I create a project by selecting New in the Project menu. This brings up the Project Settings dialog for the new project. I will use Hello World as project name. The project name is also the name of the final executable. This program is not going to have a graphical user interface, so I select Console Application as Project Kind. The base directory is the directory where you want your Visual Prolog projects to reside. By default, the project is created in a subdirectory with the same name as the project itself. I always follow this subdirectory practice, so I'm ready to press OK. After the project has been created, the project window opens. The project window shows the entities in your project. Main.pack is the source file of the main package. Packages are what the compiler compiles. Double-clicking a node will open the corresponding file in the editor. As you can see, main.pack only contains include statements. The actual code is in other files. Prodia is the directory in which Visual Prolog is installed. The project uses three libraries from the installation, but otherwise the project tree is rather empty. This will change when we build the project. I select Build in the Build menu, though normally I would build by pressing Ctrl, Shift, B. The message window shows which files are compiled. As you can see, it is far more than main.pack. This is because the IDE has figured out that other packages are required to make the project complete. Now that the build is finished, the project tree contains many more nodes. First of all, a lot of packages have been added from the Visual Prolog installation. For example, the console package. These are the packages that the IDE has found to be required in order to make the project complete. If I select main.pack, the right pane of the project window now displays an includes tree, where we can explore which files main.pack includes and which files these files includes, and so forth. Included files like main.cl and main.pro have also been added to the project tree. Main.pro contains the main code of the project. If I select it in the project tree, the right pane will show the programmatic entities that can be found in main.pro. It contains the implementation of a class main, which among other things contains the implementation of the predicate run. If I double click run, I will immediately come to that predicate in the editor, which is very convenient because it is run I'm going to update. First, I delete the dummy code with the comment, place your own code here. I will call write in the stdio class. I used IntelliSpeed to type it fast, but that is demonstrated in another video. Having completed my program, I'm ready to run it. For console programs, it is a good idea to use run in window from the build menu because that will result in a window that stays open after the program has finished, so you have time to see the result. If you want to try out Visual Prolog, you can download the personal edition from our homepage www.visualprolog.com. Tutorials can be found in wiki.visualprolog.com and you can ask questions in the discussion forum discuss.visualprolog.com. Thank you.